ready, we got up and did our morning chores. I got ready and got the little ones up and dressed. I am making breakfast for the kids. But first I got them started on their lessons for the day to start with. Andrew is starting with keyboarding. Avery is calling her letter of the day. Baby girl, what's the letter of the day? A. Let me see. Turn it over. It's upside down. Very beautiful. Good job. And Alex is starting off his morning watching some cartoons. And then he'll get started on some stuff. Just turned three. So I'm a little bit more relaxed with his curriculum. He um, takes place in Avery's stuff when he wants. He's always offered everything that she does. But she's doing um, kindergarten next year. So she's still in preschool too. Mainly I'm focusing on Andrew, who's in third grade, and he goes to Connections Academy, which is a virtual school. So this is our first day of school. Enjoy! by month that I wanted the little ones to learn for preschool pre-K. Um, so in September, we're learning um, decisions from my heart, writing my name, letters A through F, reading and phonics, letters A through F. Um, we're learning what, in a book the title, author, and illustrator is. We are learning how to draw to retell the story as I read it. For science, we are learning our six senses. And yes, I said six because intuition is a sense and it is all-knowing. So our five senses plus one. Hang on, baby. Okay, hang on. For social studies, we are learning now and then, also known as past or present. In reading, Little House in the Big Woods. Teaching them about what it used to be like in the colonial days before technology. So follow us through the month and you'll see all the cool activities we'll learn for our six senses and for our past and present. Also, for math, we are learning numbers one through six and how to sort. Sorting. Um, for spirituality, we are learning about meditation. So then in Andrew's notebook, because his curriculum is decided um, by Connections Academy to go with the standard curriculum of California, 
then I take the every class and every lesson that he has, it gives me the month's um, view on the calendar. So then I go through at least the day before, but I'll go through and write down what, what classes he's taking that day. So right now he's doing keyboarding, rows, part one. And then next he has language arts. So I'll write down what his objectives are for that lesson, the key words for that lesson, and then the school gives a coaching guide. Now, all of this is um, available online, but because I um, am using my computer to teach the kids either videos, ABC mouse, or different things, I can't use my computer during the day to sit next to him and go through the, the coaching guide. So what I do is I just write it down real quick. That also gives me a better understanding of what he's learning in that lesson. So I go through his entire lesson the day before and I write down everything he may um, need to discuss, any questions he may have. I figure it all out and write it down in my little coaching guide. Um, we take recess at the park every day because we literally live next door to the park. You can see. No, oh, it might be too bright. Anyways, over the fence right there is a park. So it's been really hot, so we haven't been doing this. I know this is our first day of school, but. We haven't been going to the park too much because it's super hot, but now that it's cooling off, we'll take recess every day. We might take a picnic lunch over there and enjoy some time, get all our wiggles out before we come back and do the rest of our day. Um, the good thing that I love about Homeschooling and Connections Academy is you can start school whenever you want, whatever time of the day that you want. I'm not a morning person. My husband gets up to go to work. He's out the door at 5. I cannot get up that early. I just can't. So, I get up, kiss him goodbye, and then I go back to sleep till about 8, usually 9. And then I get up, I drink my coffee, wake myself up, get the kids up. I get Andrew up first so he can wake up. He is starting school by 10. Now, I, see, I know a lot of parents say you need to get up early and start early. We need our sleep. We can't do that. So we start school about 10. We'll take a lunch. And then my husband gets home between 4, sometimes 5. And we'll be done by then. Then, you know, I'll finish up whatever we need to do for dinner. My husband will take over dinner some days if it's been a stressful day for me because he loves to cook. So we'll get dinner done. And then we'll just relax and rest. The kids will usually have some tablet time right before bed to calm them down because they are crazy. So after shower, they'll have a little bit of tablet time and then bedtime. And then we'll start it all over again tomorrow.
experiment for science is involving the sense of taste. And we are going to taste lemons. I personally love lemons. So this is going to be easy peasy for me. I can eat them all day long. But let's see how the kids like them. Ready, guys? Uh -huh. I can do it. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hang on. Grab your lemon. We already have a lemon. Why do you want so many lemons? What do you think? Is it yummy? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Is it sour? No. I'll store whatever I supply of lemons. Yeah. I don't want to eat it all. You don't want to eat it all? Is it sour? No. Let me see. Lose your face. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. My turn. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I don't like it. <laughs> Keep going. Taste it. You don't have to take a bite out of take it. Take a big juicy bite. No. Take a big juicy bite. No. I'll do that to an orange but not a lemon. Delicious though. Ah. They kind of taste like an orange to me. Yummy. Mm. Alright, let's get the little guy. Okay. questions all about multiplication and division, a few of that, addition and subtraction, but it was a pretest to see how much he knew and he scored 80% which is really good because this is the things that he should know by the end of the year. So he essentially, and I didn't do it for him, I just read him the questions and he completed it on his own. So. He knows 80% of all the stuff he will be learned for math in third grade. So, super happy on that. Um, so that took a long time though, because we had a couple meltdowns with the babies, and I got some snacks, and Avery was watching and doing some of these stuff on ABC Mouse. Um, so now we are a little bit longer than we expected today to finish our stuff, but tomorrow we have a LEAP pretest for language arts, and then we will be done with those LEAP tests until the middle of the year. So that way tomorrow we will have another two hour test, but then after that we won't have to deal with those. Whew. So right now he is um, doing his language arts for the day. We just went over his word wall, which is his vocab. Um, so every lesson he gets vocab words. We um, look it up in the dictionary and he writes it down. So he has a notebook for all of his words. 
and now he is um, doing his online session, his online lesson for language arts. The babies are playing outside because they were getting crazy and they love to play outside in the mud and the dirt and doing all kinds of stuff. Toys! Okay, so Andrew has finished his day. We are at the six hour mark, which is what is expected for each day. I was hoping to finish a little bit quicker. And we have Dirty Boy right here from Playing in the Mud. And now that I am done with his um, day, Avery is here playing ABC Mouse. Andrew's done. Now I have to prep work for tomorrow. So tomorrow we have another lesson to do and I need to prep work for it. So he's almost done. My husband just got home. So I'm going to prep work. For this while the kids relax and we'll see how the rest of the night goes. Bye! So we are done with our first day of homeschool. It was a successful first day. Uh, just a couple meltdowns but nothing abnormal, nothing um, more than any other day. How was your first day? Good. Did you have fun? Mm hmm Yeah? Who's your teacher? You. Do you like me being your teacher? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she does. So everybody has. Let me do a cardio, guys. <laughs> everybody has a full tummy. They've all showered. They're in their pajamas. Good job, baby. And I am finishing up the lesson curriculum for tomorrow, prepping for it. And I would say. And even though this is just our first day homeschooling out of the traditional brick and mortar school, I would say that be one on one as his learning coach, I am teaching him every concept. Um, he does have live lessons starting tomorrow with his teacher. But as far as literature goes, I explain everything to him, every idea, make sure he understands it before we move on to the next one. And he's always done really, really good at the top of his class in regular public school. But being that I was in his classroom, I know that the teacher presents a question, somebody raises their hand, half the students aren't paying attention, they're talking to their friends, they're goofing off, they're twiddling their thumbs, they're daydreaming. And I know that this way he is grasping every single concept of math, science, social studies, uh, literature, reading, you know, he's um, got, he's doing cursive this year, he's practicing his grammar. Not only that, but we also decided this year to add in our spirituality. So we can also, which I'm teaching to all the kids at the same time, so we're working on meditation right now so the kids can focus on meditation, which they don't learn that at public school. Um, and we're also going to get into other things uh, about spirituality with the kids that they wouldn't learn anywhere else. And um, so I really, really enjoy having them home, safe. And uh, I'll talk about another video about the pros and cons about homeschooling and why we chose. But I just wanted to say successful day one, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for the love. Bye.